Okay, and invoke a fear of heights, a fear of falling, a fear of speed, a fear of entrapment, and a fear of death all at the same time. I'm guessing you probably guess roller coaster based off the title of this presentation. Um, over the past summer, I worked at a roller coaster called Nintendo 305 at King's Dominion. At 95 miles an hour, it was the sixth fastest roller coaster in the world, and it made number one roller coaster in Good Morning America. So, through my experience at King's Dominion, I really realized that there are a lot of people that have irrational fears for roller coasters, and it's not for really medical reasons, age reasons, anything like that. It's just a plain and simple fear of roller coasters. Now, I imagine you guys have probably spent the past week doing the same thing, homework, sleeping, eating, and you probably want a bit of adventure in your life. And what better way of satisfying this new adventure than riding a roller coaster? If you overcome your fear of roller coasters, you definitely have a good confidence boost knowing that you have overcome a small fear and that you can probably overcome bigger things afterwards. Riding roller coasters is a great way to spend time with your friends and family and just enjoy a day off. And chances are, if you're at a theme park, you pay a lot of money to get in there, and you shouldn't be checking out about roller coasters because they're a lot of fun. Now, I understand there are a lot of misconceptions about the safety of roller coasters, and um, Aaron McCartney says that modern roller coasters are modern coaster roller innovations are made possible by the same software that computers companies such as Boeing use to develop accuracy. And Amanda McMillan says that roller coasters are not dangerous if you're healthy to begin with. Through all my experience at King's Dominion, I've learned that there are a lot of safety features built into roller coasters that keep you from becoming hurt or anything like that. There are features like that are built into the design of roller coasters, like anti-rollbacks, things on that big hill that keep your roller coaster from rolling down. There are electronic blocking restraints, which are features that make it so your roller coaster restraints cannot come undone unless you're in a station and there's a die that making them unlock. Trains are attached to the track, uh, three wheels, it's one at the top, one on the side of the track, and one at the bottom. And they're typically over 100 wheels in a roller coaster train just to make sure you're not going to fly off the track. Roller coasters have lots of riding rules to keep all the riders safe. They have fault protection. If anything goes wrong on the roller coaster and the ride protects it, the ride will stop and will not move until maintenance comes and fixes it. And there are a lot of emergency features and procedures so as ride operators have to go by. Parks depend on the safety of roller coasters to keep their business going and keep money coming in, so the rides do have a lot of money making sure they're safe. And every day, rides are uh, inspected by maintenance and ride operators just to make sure they're running fine on a daily basis. Now, when you're in a theme park wondering which ride to try at first, you don't have to pick the most intense one. I drive moving from a mild one and then maybe moving up from there. And definitely go with a friend or a family, and that makes it much more enjoyable. Now, I want you guys to visualize being in a theme park with a bunch of friends having a good time. Eventually, you're going to be in front of a roller coaster, and your friends are going to ask you to ride. You're going to be a little hesitant about riding it at first, but your friends will push you and you eventually get in line and walk towards it. You'll get onto your ride, pull on your lap bar, and you'll see something like this. Now at this point you're pretty much buckled into the ride very well and it's just fear of heights right now. It's not that bad though. By the way, this is the Intimidator 305 that Ronnie used to work on there. Oh, <laughs> At that point, the worst part of the ride is over, and it's really just a couple more hills after that, and that's really all there is to overcome. Now, I want to visualize, want you guys to visualize getting off the roller coaster, and your heart's still beating a little fast, and you're pretty happy that you've got over the fear of roller coasters, and you're happy you got your money worth the theme park. And the best way to describe the feelings you have at a roller coaster are summarized by James Brown. A roller coaster has a strange effect on people. It scares them silly, but they come back for more. So after you get off a roller coaster, you're probably going to go ride another one. I hope you've learned about all the safety features of roller coasters today, uh, why you should ride them, and I hope next time you're at a theme park, you ride them. Sit up straight, pull on tight, and enjoy your ride.